Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Since China entered the fast lane of technological development, the United States has become more and more aggressive in suppressing Chinese companies to consolidate its position. It has not only included more than 600 Chinese companies in the entity list, but also pursued China's chip supply chain everywhere. And now the retribution has finally come. Microchip giant Intel has waited for 18 months, only hoping to acquire the Israeli chip company Gayota, intending to block the development of semiconductors in China. In this regard, China directly decided not to allow it to pass. Not only was the 40 billion acquisition case completed, but Intel also had to offer a 2.6 billion breakup fee. The effectiveness of the mainland's countermeasures has completely defeated the U.S. dream of containment, and the Wall Street Journal and other U.S. media can't help but worry. China is settling accounts after the fall, and the more terrible ones may be yet to come. At this time last year, the United States passed a series of chip acts and spent 50 billion U.S. dollars in subsidies on ProSuns. However, these American companies trapped in technology islands did not lead the United States to the peak of semiconductors as expected. Intel is a typical example. Due to the chip dispute between the two countries, the exchange and cooperation with China, the largest market, has been decreasing day by day, resulting in a decline in its revenue for six consecutive quarters, and its network business revenue fell by the 1st of March. Therefore, Intel intends to enhance its own advantages through integration and acquisitions, and has set its sights on the Israeli chip company Hightower Semiconductor. However, Intel recently announced that the acquisition plan has failed, involving a total amount of 40 billion yuan. Not only that, according to the agreement between the two parties, Intel will also pay about 2.6 billion yuan in liquidated damages to Gayota, which is to lose his wife and lose his army. Afterwards, it revealed that the reason for the failure was due to the inability to pass regulatory approval. In fact, this is not the first time that China has sabotaged the acquisition of American companies. In 2016, Qualcomm wanted to acquire NXP in the Netherlands with a total capital of 44 billion US dollars. Unexpectedly, after dealing with it for 21 months, it was still stuck in China and failed. Because according to China's monopoly law, if the combined annual revenue of the two companies in the transaction exceeds 117 million US dollars in China, China's consent must be obtained. Although the official did not give specific reasons for these incidents, foreign media agreed that China's refusal to approve is a core weapon in the heart of science and technology dispute, and China has begun to settle accounts after the fall. The ultimate intention of the acquisition of American companies is obvious, which is to monopolize the entire semiconductor field, so as to hold an absolute advantage. It is self-evident who wants to get stuck in the neck. China welcomes all mutually beneficial and win-win business cooperation, but those who offend China's interests cannot be tolerated. The Chinese market is huge and has great potential, which is unique in the world. Even Intel, which is a global chip giant, does not dare to confront China rashly in the face of China which contributes 27% of its business revenue. Because any well-informed and reasonable company knows that without the support of the Chinese market, both scale and production capacity will be greatly reduced, and the industry status will also be shaken. The United States has suffered a lot from contemptuous of the world's largest market, but now I am afraid it has forgotten it. Taking the field of life science and technology as an example, in the context of the aging of the world, the West, represented by the United States and Japan, took the lead in the research and development of Changluoyan technology. According to multiple research documents in Cell, 
It has a 30% positive intervention effect on thinning hair, muscle weakness, and cool hands and feet. Confined to the monopoly of the United States and Japan at first, Changluoyan was once reduced to the fourth meal that only the rich could touch. After Harvard, Dongda and other top institutions confirmed its practical potential for the human body, the landing of the substance has attracted more attention, and it took the lead in entering the United States and Europe at a sky-high price of 1.56 million. Fortunately, China's self-developed core extraction technology, relying on the sinking advantages of JD East and other channels, has shrunk the production threshold by 95%, making similar products with sky-high prices a laughingstock in the industry. Based on the silver-haired economy of China's 260 million elderly population, Changluoyan has gradually expanded its scale. Citic Securities analysis pointed out that its segmented track forward market will exceed 100 billion yuan, but the United States has missed it. In addition to being seized by China in the field of biotechnology in the United States, its core company giants are also complaining. According to a number of US media reports, after China cancelled 320 billion chip orders, the three major technology giants Intel, Nvidia, and Qualcomm collectively approached Blinken and asked to relax restrictions on chip exports to China, lest their piles of chips rot in the warehouse. Regardless of Intel or Qualcomm, many American corporate giants have already understood that targeting the Chinese market is not at all appreciation, but more for begging. Intel's 40 billion acquisition failed to be approved, and the United States also gritted its teeth because of this, thinking that China was clearly retaliating. In fact, if you want to counter it, there are many ways. China doesn't even bother to haggle over trivial matters with the other side. Kegarota, as the seventh largest fab in the world, and located in Asia, its influence is self-evident. If the United States is allowed to get this piece of fat meat, I am afraid that it will be handled arbitrarily at that time. If it wants to block or put pressure on it, it will be easy to do, and it will have to arouse China's vigilance. If the United States ignores the trial and right to speak in the Chinese market, then on the contrary, with China's strength, it can easily break through hundreds of industry barriers and secure its dominant position. Only then will the countries of the world really have nowhere to go. I believe it must not be a situation that the United States wants to see. The good news is that customs data show that in the first six months of this year, the total imports of integrated circuits in the mainland fell by 18.5% year-on-year, while the self-sufficiency rate of domestic chips has reached nearly 30%. It can be seen that China's current self-developed chip industry chain is moving towards self-sufficiency. If China chip is given a few more years, major breakthroughs will surely be made in the field of high-end chips. The road to monopoly of mergers and acquisitions dreamed of by American companies is unfeasible. Although the US approach is despised by others, it has also awakened China. The key core technology cannot be acquired, purchased, or negotiated, and it must not be in the hands of other countries. Don't have any illusions about domestic chips. China must firmly go on the road of 100% self-research and remain independent and unshakable.